Six has accessed exclusive CCTV visuals of the bus that was carrying the pilgrims just moments before the terror attack took place in Riyasi. We will now take these visuals one by one. Let's blow them up on our screens so our viewers can see very carefully. Viewers, this is the first set of the CCTV visuals that we have accessed. The timestamp on these visuals is 6 p.m. on the 9th of June. I'm just going to quickly play this out uh, for our viewers where you can see this right here is the bus that was carrying the pilgrims yesterday in Riyasi. This is the bus that was attacked. At 6 o'clock, the bus and this CCTV visual is from very close to the terror attack site. At 6 p.m., the bus is at this point. Port and as Ajay pointed out, that roughly between 6.5 to 6.10 p.m., that's the estimate that we have, is when fire was open on this bus. So clearly the bus could not have reached uh, very far off from this particular point uh, where the CCTV camera has been installed. Now, moments after, in fact, uh, just a few seconds after, three seconds after, this black jeep emerges from this particular site from where the bus was coming and it follows the bus onto this particular track. So this is the first set of the CCTV visuals which shows the bus carrying the pilgrims, that black jeep that we just saw and the second car right here which from the looks of it seems to be a cab, a tourist cab it seems like it. So this is what has emerged as far as the CCTV visuals are concerned. Like I said, with a timestamp of about 6 p.m. and we're roughly looking at all of this movement happening between 6 p.m. 30 seconds to 6 p.m. 1 minute 30 seconds. So two cars, viewers, we can understand from these particular visuals Two cars were in close proximity to the bus that was carrying the pilgrims yesterday. It is possible, as per the investigative agencies, that those who were travelling in these vehicles, the drivers and passengers, may have possibly seen something because they surely were on the same path. So it is not possible unless there was a diversion ahead, which is unlikely. It is not possible that these cars that were so close to the bus did not see something. They were going in the exact same direction. And because the area is slightly hilly, we all know that the speed limit, in fact, is not too high. However, I move on now to the next visual that has been accessed by NewsX. And the timestamp on this visual is 6 2 p.m. So right after exactly... 30 seconds of when the first CCTV visual stops, we see another CCTV footage where a white van, a lone white van is seen coming from the opposite direction. So it is quite likely that this car would have possibly seen something as well. That is, of course, what is coming out as far as the initial probe is concerned. This particular car does seem to be at a higher speed than the other cars that we have seen. However, these are the two CCTV visuals that have emerged. We'll put both of these CCTV visuals on our screens so that we can take a larger perspective of what has happened here. As per the investigative agencies, they are now looking for the drivers and passengers of all of these three vehicles that have been in close proximity to the bus that was attacked yesterday by terrorists because it is possible, as I have mentioned earlier, that those in these vehicles could have possibly seen something, especially the two vehicles that were tailing the bus, that were right behind the bus. So they have gone on the same path and it is possible that they were very close to the bus when the terror attack took place. Meanwhile, this particular van that has emerged from the other side, as per the initial probe, uh, it is not being suspected right now that this van had anything to do with the terror attack that has taken place. But the security agencies are not ruling out any possibility at this point in time. It is quite possible 
given the speed of the van and the fact that it is emerged from the opposite direction, that there could be something more to this than just some regular traffic and regular movement. However, the investigative agencies at this point in time, viewers, we are learning, are trying to now understand and speak to the people who were around this specific bus that was attacked to see whether they have actually seen something or not. What we also have to keep in mind is that the time of the terror attack, which is 6, 10 p.m., is approximate. It could have happened earlier as well, but we know that it's happened between 6 to 6, 10 p.m. That's the information that we have with us right now. As far as the vehicles are concerned, it is quite possible that uh, some of these vehicles, in fact, uh, fled the area, of course, to save their own lives. Because once the fire was open on the bus, we know that the bus driver was hit and he lost control. And that is when the bus fell into the gorge, which led to further casualties as well and further injuries to the people. So clearly, most of the cars that were in and around that area or near the bus would have possibly very quickly fled from this entire spot as well. So this is, of course, the latest viewers that we have learned. These are exclusive CCTV visuals that have been accessed by NewsX, which uh, shed some light on the likelihoods and the possibilities for the investigative agencies. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.